Hey, my name is Ishide from White Wolf and today we're going to talk about the disappearing of objects and the spiritual reason around and behind that. So let's just begin. So, do you recognize that you put your keys somewhere and suddenly they're gone and you find them later and everything, well, it's keys so it doesn't go as planned that day anymore? <laughs> Or that you just lost something you liked or, you know, I'm going to tell you all the spiritual things that can cause that. And it's a lot. It's not just because a ghost moved them, but that's one, but it will go deeper than that. But let's start with that one. Ghost moved them. Yeah, of course. It can be a bored ghost. It can be your guide who wants to play a game or just someone who has passed your house once and I that could be reason number one <laughs> number two and we're getting deeper <laughs> is for example black magic voodoo maybe a ghost with that so a ghost or something has been sent to you to for example not make you feel well for whatever reason and this ghost is like hey i'm just going to get you on your weak spots and that's forgetfulness and then he makes you forget the keys for example or he puts them somewhere else on its own. But those things, yeah, we can get behind probably, but there are more reasons. For example, the universe. If you are here on Earth, you have some lessons to learn and your guides and your universe and your intuition, subconsciousness want you to learn them. But sometimes that's hard or we get scared or we are stuck in patterns and we don't see a way out. Well, you expect, of course, some help, but you probably got that already, but you didn't see that. Maybe a person reached out, but you didn't notice. Or maybe you had a dream, but you forgot it or didn't follow it. And then the symptoms will get harder because they want to help you. And sometimes the only way to help you is to annoy you because you want to fix the why do I keep losing stuff. And then you find out, hopefully, why and because of what lesson. So... What happens? They just want to annoy you to uh, make decisions. Yeah, it's not nice, but it happens so much. Some people have like chronic medical issues, which is nothing more than your guides and the universe. Uh, and then a symptom of them to annoy you into making a change. And it sounds super hard, but yeah, if we don't catch the subtle signs then you get the hard signs <laughs> then another reason for the disappearing of objects is your own yeah stubbornness or your own worries and then the kind that shouldn't be there anymore so over worrying and that you know everything is energy the ghost the sign from the universe a guide who does something it makes things shift literally that's why objects are disappearing um but if you worry too much or are too busy or too you your head is too crowded you also send energy and sometimes energy can get alive on its own can get a life of its own and then does weird things and if that energy is like hey there's a lot of stuff here let's just make things disappear then it does that that's really weird so maybe you can see that if you want to as a sort of ghost that you temporarily create and then that's disappearing stuff for you it's really happening or breaking stuff of course but it's not that you know the guys witness that and they are like yeah we can help you with the things not disappearing but yeah you should know indeed that you're too crowded in your head and too worried about what everybody else thinks so they let it happen so if you ask help it comes in a way you don't expect because the help isn't stop making objects disappear or help me find the objects the help is for example that you see a flyer in your dreams or on the street from some kind of whatever, counseling or sports, that's the sign of help you probably missed. You won't be helped by stopping the losing of objects. So those are the reasons, 
in general. Why people lose objects? Will they ever come back? No, nope. sometimes not. Sometimes somebody also stole it. You will never know. And sometimes it comes back years later in a spot where you have searched for so long. Which makes me wonder, and I am convinced actually, that sometimes we lose stuff, but it's it's on the place where we left it. But we weren't ready to find it back yet because there was a lesson. So it's like our guide or something just did this and made us not see the thing we lost. Which brings me, by the way, to another and a last um, reason why we lose stuff. Sometimes you simply don't need something anymore. Maybe you are too hung up on your bracelet with a certain kind of gems to protect you to uh, for uh, whatever and then it suddenly breaks or goes missing. That's most of the time a sign, two signs, either one of them, that one, you didn't need that anymore and you can just do this on your own or the negative energy that was indeed coming your way was blocked by your bracelet but for the bracelet to catch that negative energy it could be that the bracelet that it made the bracelet disappear <laughs> it's so weird but it's true most of the time it breaks though but uh, disappearing is also a way <laughs> so um yeah this was the long video <laughs> apparently about why do we lose stuff if you liked it please subscribe i would be happy to read your reactions also and um, this was it <laughs> and until next time